pertaining to the law. And questions have been arising based on the law itself. Uh, okay, what laws do we follow uh, now that Christ returned? Uh, uh, what laws uh, do we follow based on Paul's teachings? These questions have arised on more than one, one occasion. And it ties into the topic. It, it also ties into the radio show we had earlier. And, it, you know, so we went into a study to give some understanding. First of all, doing in the law. Let me hit that first. The law is broken down into four separate parts. I'm going to type them in here for you so you can write them down yourself. Moral, civil, dietary, and ceremonial. Moral, civil, civil dietary and ceremonial. To, to break it down into these four sections, it helps you understand the law and what to follow. Some people might say, you, you might hear it uh, usually in the Christian church, that there's over 600 some might laws. We can't follow all these laws. 613 laws. Which laws do we follow? The reason they feel they can't follow these laws is based on the fact that they don't want to follow the laws. That's number one. Number two, if you break it down, it's really not that complex. We follow more than 16, 613 laws living in the world today. We follow more than 613 or 700 laws in our normal society, in America, Europe, or what have you. But you don't tell the police when he stop you what's going on with these laws. We can't follow all these laws. You follow more laws in this society and restraints been put on you than the regular law written up in scriptures. And that was a restraint to high degree. So let's break it down. When you go to Exodus, the 20th chapter, that give you the conditions of what we would call the content of the law. That's the base, that's the foundation of the what you would call Mosaic law, the law under Moses. You have ceremonial with, remember the Sabbath to keep it holy? That's every Sabbath. That's ceremonial. Now, let's relate that to our society today. You go to church, if you're a Christian, every Sunday. That's ceremonial. You're following a law. So, you can't say that I follow Jesus every day, but yet, you're keeping a law every week for a holy day. That's a law. Dietary is according to the law of what you should consume, what you are supposed to eat according to the Bible. The Bible gives you detailed understanding on the meats, fowls, and what comes out of the sea in Leviticus the 11th chapter on exactly how we should eat. Now, either you could break that down and say, okay, that's all these laws. It's simple. Out of the waters, fish with scales and fins, period. So even though it may take a lot of words and different laws, it comes down to one thing. To show you how simple the law is. Then you have your moral law. Moral law is based on regular morality. How you should treat other people. Or, you know, 
what happens or not what happens let me make this clear like uh, fornication or any type of alternate sexual activity or some type of alternate activity that's immoral let's put let's put into play homosexuality there's laws on how we should keep our vessels morally right civil law the civil law is once these laws are broken we must have some level of civility or judgment for the breaking of these laws like for instance someone breaks a law thou shall not murder you accidentally uh, someone accidentally die in your presence and you'll be in charge for murder. I'm giving you an old overview here. There's a law in which before someone can actually pass judgment on you, there's a suburb or a place that they can put you to protect you from the family until the case is heard. So that the family cannot come down on you based on anger without realizing the facts. Okay, so that's the civil law based on thou shall not murder. So with each of the Ten Commandments come laws on how to apply and judge the commandments. Okay, so like for instance, the Lord says again to the Sabbath, remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. If you broke the Sabbath, according to the Old Testament, that was death on the spot. So there were civil laws put in place to enforce the laws we read of the Ten Commandments. So you really have Ten Commandments to follow. But a lot of laws come with them because people break laws every day. That's why there's so much. Also with ceremonial. Everything was a law. What Aaron's son was supposed to put on, uh, what they would, you know, the uh, artifacts and things they needed to do the ceremony every little thing for the Sabbath service what sacrifice to bring every little thing was a law you understand so you're not we're not under the ceremonial law to the point where we must follow the Levitical priesthood so that's that's a whole lot of laws just placed out of the way now that Christ gave us the sacrifice so when people say they cannot follow all those laws it's really the tent the rest of the law is just giving you understanding on what happens when you break the tent <coughs> okay there's a thing in which thou shall not steal if someone